With me now is TV presenter Carrie Grant, who has two daughters with autism. Good to see you, Carrie. And the first thing to point out, I suppose, is a lot of people assume that it's boys like Tim who are autistic and not girls. Why is that? I think because the diagnostic criteria has all, was slanted towards boys until very, very recently. And so, therefore, as boys would get the diagnosis, but girls would slip under the radar. Paula, Tim's mum there, was talking about the difficulties she's had in getting help. Is that something that resonates with you? Oh my gosh, I'm so pleased that Research Autism have done this report because I think it really flags up there is a major problem. You know, the first thing you do is you put autism into your search engine. The first thing it will show you is loads of negative stuff, mm -hmm. you know, which for people that have just been diagnosed with autism, not just the parents, but for the autistic people themselves, how do you think that feels? <laughs> you know, it feels very, very hopeless. And also, you don't know what's reliable. So to have something where you can say, right, this is a reliable treatment or a reliable strategy that may work for you, this is a real breakthrough for us. It, it's also unreliable because no two people experience autism in the same way, which must be the situation for your two daughters. It must be quite different for them. Yeah. So my two daughters go to mainstream school. You wouldn't even know they had autism. Certainly my child with, uh, who's 13, you wouldn't know she had autism at all. Fits in at school. How do the schools cope as well, though? Because I know the intention with a lot of them is to do their best. But it's not always easy for them to do that. I think I would say that half the teachers really get it and yeah. are really open-minded and embrace the difference that these children have. But I would say that the other 50% just think, well, they're normal, so why can't they just do what they're told to do? Why are they like that? Are they not getting the training they need? Absolutely. Then at teacher training level, there's very little on autism. There's very little on special needs at all. You'll get the training on gifted and talented, but not... On, uh, on people with special needs. So yeah, we definitely need to see a change in that. So look, in the time that the girls have been diagnosed with the condition, what kind of help have you had? Uh, very little help. The first thing you do is you find out most of the things yourself. And then if you're a really proactive parent, which I have to say a lot of people in the autism community, they're like warrior parents, you know, because they've had to be. So they then go and train the teachers. They then go and speak to the Senkos and they then basically create the world that their child needs. Um, CAMS, in my instance, which is Children and Adolescent Mental Health Service, okay. have been really helpful. Um, but that varies from area to area. Um, and those guys can give you really good strategies. They've given me some amazing strategies that have been really helpful. Like what? Like, for instance, looking at a child's sensory world. So in the way that we would create ramps for someone in a wheelchair, when I walk into a place like this, I, my children might struggle in here. It's very bright. Um, actually, it's quite quiet, which is good. But just being aware of, you know, what is my child experiencing here if they're hearing things at 10 times the volume? They're going to hear the fridge, the kettle. They're going to hear every electric you know, thing going on. So just being aware of those things. And in terms of their dealing with other people, what's that been like? Because, oh. as I say, a lot of people have these preconceived ideas mm. that they will be like Rain Man, for example, mm -hmm. or they have a special skill like drawing, you know, that kind of thing. I think that I feel like my life's work right now is not to train my children to fit in with the world, but to keep telling the world, try and help my children to fit in, because my children are amazing. Yes, and I said. don't want them to try to be normal. I want my children to be who they are because and you, celebrate yeah. who they are. Because you said while it's a challenge, it's also magical. Oh, my gosh. It is a challenge. Every day there are little things that you go, OK, I've got to just try and get my head around this. But equally, they are amazing kids. They're very perceptive. They're hilariously funny. And mine happen to be very creative, which I love just watching them. Carrie, thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you. Good to see you.